What's up everybody? This is Gibbetron09 back again with another video for you today. And I have a big bunch of pickups. I got a PlayStation 2 lot of games and accessories, and then three GameStop pickups. So I'm gonna get right to that because I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. So I'll start off with these two games. Um, if you were if you watched my last pickups video, you'll know that I picked up Tales of Symphonia for the GameCube, and you would also know that I now have a black label copy because in the last pickup video it was the Player's Choice Edition. And I actually went to a GameStop in a, another area when I was in the area. I figured I'd stop. And they had this there. And there was a black label. And it was the manual. That was the receipt, sorry. It was the manual and the discs in perfect condition. And I picked it up and just returned the other one. So now I have a black label copy of that. And while I was there, I also picked up Tales of the Abyss. Because I've been in a Tales uh, RPG mood. And I know that these are hard to find. Especially Tales of the Abyss for the PlayStation 2. I grabbed it for 15 bucks with a coupon and I was pumped to grab that. And finally for the Xbox 360 I picked up Dark Messiah of Might and Magic Elements. Um, it was about six bucks, uh, yeah it was six bucks and uh, it got pretty bad reviews to be honest but that's because the the PC version of it is an RPG and a, and a good one at that but the 360 version gets rid of all the RPG elements and makes them all linear and makes the game in general linear so that uh, takes away from the original experience from the PC and that's why I got the bad reviews and some of the camera work is a little clunky but um, so far I've actually been enjoying it. I'm about a third of the way in and I, I've liked it more than I expected I would. And next for the PS2 bundle I talked about it was forty dollars for everything I'm about to show you right now. Um, I had two 8 megabyte uh, PlayStation memory cards. This is the, These are the the branded ones, so these are the official Sony ones, and then I had one third-party 64 megabyte control uh, memory card, and this is a big one. So this, will, I mean, these will definitely be able to handle all of what I got here and what I actually have too. Um, next, I got a third-party PlayStation 2 controller. It came with a cover for the battery, and uh, I was excited to pick this up along in the bundle. And here's the it's just a wireless, so it just connects in, and then you play wirelessly. Third-party. It's the first wireless controller I had for the PlayStation 2, so I was glad to pick it up. And it also came with the PlayStation 2 controller, the classic one. And I have um, five PlayStation 2 uh, controllers and then the third-party wireless controller now, so a total of six. So now I'll start with the games. And the first game is Gran Turismo 4 Black Label. No manual. Um, I'm not a huge racing fan, but uh, it, I know it's a, it's a good... Uh, piece of the PlayStation 2 library and so I was glad to have it and I the reason I opened it and showed that there was no manual is because this is the only game that had no manual every other one of these games has the manual which was fantastic and they're all in great condition unless I say otherwise but yeah just uh, Gran Turismo 4. Next we have Simpsons Hit and Run and the Simpsons game. Uh, the Simpsons games that I also have for the Wii um, I enjoyed it I, I beat it and uh, now I have a copy for the PlayStation 2. Simpsons Hit and Run I have for the original Xbox. I played a bit of it, and having it for the PlayStation 2 makes it all the more better for my collection. Next, I have Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, I have Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the original Xbox. Never had Star Wars Battlefront 1, so this is good to have. Uh, next, I have a few 007 games. One is 007 Nightfire. The other was From Russia With Love, 007. I've never played a 007 game since uh, GoldenEye, so I'm going to have to give it a shot at one point. Next are two Spider-Man games for the PlayStation 2. Um, this is Spider-Man 2. I heard this is the one of the best Spider-Mans, if not the best Spider-Man ever made. It's like GTA Spider-Man, I heard. Um, so I'm really excited to try that one out. And then Spider-Man 3, and this one's in okay condition. A little bit of a rip-up on the top of the insert, no big deal though. Next is LEGO Star Wars. The video game, um, I have this for the GameCube, and I beat that uh, pretty well, so this is just good to have for my collection. Next is Kill Switch for the PlayStation 2. Uh, take Cover, Take Aim, Take Over is the little subtitle underneath, but it is Kill Switch. Uh, next is the prequel, I believe, uh, not the prequel, but the one bef in the before Red Dead Redemption, that's Red Dead Revolver. Um, I heard it's a good Western style shooter, and I'll be looking to try that out. Next is Tac 2, The Staff of Dreams. I've heard it's an okay series. Uh, it's a platforming game, and I'll probably try it out at one point if I have the time. And here's Need for Speed Most Wanted. Not a huge 
uh, car or racing fan, but I might give it a shot because I heard the Need for Speed is a better series than, than most, um, you know, simulator style games. It's more of an arcade style, I've heard. Um, next is just, I guess, a sports game, if you can call it, it's just UFC Sudden Impact. I have a UFC game for the Xbox 360 that I got for free, and this is just, you know, another game for the collection. It'll be a good filler. Here's Conflict Desert Storm. Destroy All Humans 2. This looks kind of like an interesting game that you could fool around with. Um, MX vs. ATV Unleashed. Probably won't play it, but just another filler. Um, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. Um, I actually have this game, but I had it without a manual, and it wasn't in great condition, and now I have it with a manual in great condition. Um, one of my favorites for the Wii, uh, the Scholarship Edition, I mean, which just gave it away, and that's Bully, and this is in great condition, and I love the Wii game. I played through it completely, did absolutely everything in it, and I love it, and maybe I'll try out the PlayStation 2 version. We'll see. Next is Dark Angel Vampire Apocalypse. Uh, got pretty bad reviews, but uh, it's one that I'll try it out because it looks like my style of gameplay, I guess. And here's Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. Uh, I heard this was a good one, so I might give this one a go. Um, Ace Combat 04, Shattered Dreams. Uh, yep, no, Shattered Skies. Sorry, Shattered Skies. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. I actually have that for the PSP, and I'm going to go grab another bunch, because if I had had them there, it would have tumbled. So, here are a bunch more games. Uh, if I had a huge stack, and I couldn't keep them all around me, so I'm sorry for going back up there. And I'm sure you guys like the jalapeno pajama shorts. Um, here's SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Uh, I've heard the SOCOM series is very good, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. Um, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, um, also have this for the GameCube, also played through it, but it's just good to have it for the PS2 as well. Um, Kingsfield, the Ancient City. Uh, I heard it was a pretty good RPG. I'll be looking to try this one out because I'm a huge RPG fan. It's my favorite genre. Um, the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe also looks like a great game. Um, I wanted it when I was a kid, and I'm looking forward to play it just to find out what I missed. Sly 2, Band of Thieves, a great series. Um, I've heard great things about Sly. I've never played a, one of the games before, but I'm definitely going to try this one out. Champions of Norath, I believe it is. Yep, Champions of Norath. Um, I heard it's a Baldur's Gate style RPG, and I, it got decent reviews, so I'm definitely going to try it out. Um, ATV2, Off Road Fury. I'm not sure if I'm going to play it or what. Um, Cabell's Outdoor Adventure. Probably something I might try out just for seeing what it is. And finally, the last one is Starsky and Hutch. So, that is the bundle of PlayStation 2 games and accessories. All the stuff that was PlayStation 2 minus Tales of the Abyss were in that bundle and I paid $40 for it. So I think that was a good deal. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy the video. I actually got through that pretty quickly. Eight minutes or so. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed this and thanks for sticking with me through the big amount of games they had to go through, so I'll see you guys later.